Hello and welcome back to our series on foraging for witchcraft herbs. And today's herb is camphor weed. So I'm making this video per request of one of my viewers, Sheena. She reached out to me and she had questions regarding this particular herb. And so I decided to go ahead and do a full blog post on it, which I will leave the link to that in the description box because it goes into greater detail that I'm going to go into in this video. This is a herb that grows very prolifically in Texas. It has a very strong scent. It smells almost medicinal, and for good reason. It has a lot of medicinal properties in it. Despite the name camphor weed, it actually has no camphor in it. It does, however, contain a lot of really good medicinal and magical essential oils that have been used for centuries by Native Americans and in folk magic and folk medicine. It was used by tribes such as the Cherokee and the Choctaw for its medicinal properties as well as for its magical properties. They used it in many spiritual rituals, healing rituals. It was thought to be able to ward off negative energies. In folk magic and witchcraft alike, it has been used to enhance psychic abilities for protection and to enhance divination. You can use this flower for healing spells and because of the bright yellow color, it's very mood lifting. It not only heals physically, but it heals emotionally and mentally as well. Because of the yellow color, it provides clarity and focus. You can burn the leaves as incense in your rituals. The Native Americans use this herb for protection and purification. It was traditionally employed to alleviate respiratory problems. It's a natural expectorant and it's been used to alleviate coughs and other respiratory congestion. It's also been used to reduce inflammation of the skin, to reduce pain, and to soothe skin irritations such as rash. The leaves of the plants were often brewed into teas or crushed and made into poultices. This herb is known for its antimicrobial properties and can be used to treat wounds and burns. It promotes faster healing and aids in preventing infection. You can make a salve out of camphor weed to relieve muscle and joint pain. Before incorporating camphor weed into any kind of medicinal practice, be sure that you have unmistakably identified it. There's a lot of herbs that look a lot like camphor weed. One really great way to know it's camphor weed is by the smell. It has a very strong scent. It smells very medicinal and healing. Get advice from an experienced herbalist or medical professional. They can provide you with guidance on dosage, preparation, and any interactions it might have with other medicine. Camphor weed can be used in the making of charms and talismans to act as a shield against negative energies. It can also be used to enhance your psychic abilities and to enhance your divination practice. Camphor weed has, in recent years, been used in aromatherapies. This is a really great herb for aromatherapy because it does have such a strong, compelling scent. You can use camphor weed in spells for protection, warding, binding, and banishing. You can use camphor weed in spells for purification and prophecy. In folk magic, they use camphor weed in love spells, in making love charms. It was believed in folk magic to have the ability to attract passionate and harmonious relationships. So I hope you enjoyed this video about camphor weed and I will have a link to my blog post in the description box. So thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.